Good evening everyone, I'm Nathan, here with my wonderful wife Laura. Hello! And we're here to do a review of the Gossip Girl Never Have I Ever game. We sure are. Um, this one's not really a board game, it's more of a, a card slash group party game, I would say. Yeah, um, what's weird is it looks like a board game, except it really doesn't need to be in this size box. No, this, this could be like one of those little, like, you know, hanging on the, the wall at the store rather than like sitting on the shelf thing. <gasps> you, you'll see. Gossip Girl, the TV series, popularity has its price. Yes, yeah, so if you don't know, Gossip Girl was a TV show. It's been finished for, I think, <coughs> I think quite a while now. Neither of us have seen it. Um, I'm sure the references will make sense to those who have watched it, um, but we're just looking at the game itself. Yeah, so um, there's not a whole lot to it. Um, you got a whole bunch of cards, a die. Some money. That's about it. Yeah. Uh, so essentially we're playing <coughs> Never Have I Ever. That That's what the game is. Um, I would suggest that this is something some people play at parties anyway, and you probably don't need to buy a game for it. No. You just think of things you yes. say, never have I ever. This, and normally it's a drinking game. Shh. This one's not. Ooh, <laughs> Can't get the lid off. <laughs> Alright, so there will be a link in the description to a, a database of all the game instructions, not just for this, but The instructions games. are printed on just like a cardboard sort of thing, and that, that's that, where that's they it. are, yep. Uh, oh, yeah, sorry, I don't know why I'm taking that out. Uh, we then have... I can't get, gosh, I'm useless. I couldn't get the lid off now. I can't get the insert back in. There we go. All right. Then we have the custom die here. So it acts as a category die to, to pick what question you read out mm -hmm. to the players. Yep, so each symbol means something different. This is the gossip category. Then we have the style category. <sighs> then we school. Have, oh, School category. Oh no, camera doesn't want to want to show that. Um, then we have where's family family category. We have the dating, although it's got a broken heart. So mm -hmm. and then the star is like a wild. So you choice. can choose whichever category question you want to read out on <clears throat> whatever card it is. Yes, we then have a whole pile of these question cards. It's got the same image as on the front of the box. And we all got this second hand, obviously, from the price on the front. You can tell the previous owners obviously played this a lot because the money's still sealed. Yeah, so um, these are all the same. I don't, there's no different, like, denominations. It's just they're all $100 dues. Obviously, it's not legal tender. <gasps> what? <laughs> so the, the main um, part of the game is the cards. So everybody would sit around a table. It's two or more players. You can yeah. play with as many as, as you want. There's no upper limit. Each person gets $1,000 to begin with. So $1,000 notes. And then uh, people take turns reading the never have I ever done something. And then other players, if they have done whatever it is, put $100 into the kitty. If they haven't, they don't put any money in. Yep. Uh, and basically whoever has all the money at the end when everyone else has run out is, is the winner. Or is the queen bee according to the instructions here. So the manual um, has uh, sprinklings of obviously things from the show, like yes. uh, pop letter is not a game lays, play at your own risk, you know you love me. Uh, um, it's up here, the money that you get, this should cover your brunches at the modern and the tables at butter for the time being. We don't get what they mean, but I'm sure, like I said, if you have seen it, you would know what they But no, to. stealing ladies, it didn't exactly work out for Jenny. And I don't need the drums of another Valentino scandal. Poor Valentino. Sure. We have no idea. We haven't seen it, but yeah. Lots of references there. So, say it was my turn. We all had our... Do you want to open the, the money and pretend yeah. we've got some? We're not going to play a full game. Because I'm boring. <laughs> Nathan would just have done nothing. No. <laughs> Sorry, Nathan. It's true. Um, Alright, so say it was my turn. I rolled the family symbol. Um, it says just to keep the key nearby, just in case you forget like what the categories are. Weirdly enough. Oh, there is, they are different. Oh, they have different faces. Yeah, well, there you go. Yeah. No different yeah. denominations, though. I don't know who any of these people are, but I'm sure people that watch the show probably have a good idea from the rough sort of sketch. It really doesn't want to focus on them. Yeah. Alright, so say, I'll just take, I'm just going to take a pile of them. Um, family, I uh, I take this, so it's my turn, remember? Oh, my turn first. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I've already started, I've already rolled. So I would go here, I would ignore all the other ones, and I would say, never have I ever embarrassed my parents in front of their friends. So if Nathan had done that, he'd take $100 and throw it into the middle. What was it? it would never have I... Embarrassed my parents in front of their friends. Oh, no, I've done that before. 
So he would put just a hundred dollars. Yeah, hundred dollars. And then, oh damn, and then all, all the other people would do the same thing if they have or haven't. If you're playing with other people, you discard your card, and I get whatever money they have put out. Woo! Now I've got, you know, well, I would have had ten of these, so I'd have a thousand. And I roll. Oh, let's just say I got a reader's choice. Mm -hmm. And I go, oh, what's the juiciness I'm going to read? Uh, yes, because it does actually say in the instructions if you get the star, you get to pick the category, make it juicy. So I will mention uh, a lot of these cards don't have anything to do with Gossip Girl that I'm aware of. But this one here, like, being grounded, like, when Rufus grounds Jenny after she finally comes home to him. Obviously, that's... A reference to the show. Uh, you know, made, made out with someone in a limo, like Blair and Chuck did. Yeah. But things... I never have I ever thought I was pretty. Yeah, so, I mean, some of them are irrelevant. Um, you, you just go around and keep doing that, taking it in turns. So, whoever is reading out the Never Have I Ever, they don't have to answer or respond. It's only the other players. They get whatever money and so on and so forth. So basically you're paying for, is it your sins or something? Or your bad deeds or something? Well, I don't know. your bad behavior in the instructions. So the more you've done, the quicker you're gonna run out of money. Um, yeah, this is one of those ones where, even if you're a fan of Gossip Girl, you could probably just think of your own questions. Yeah. I don't know why you'd need to get this particular release. This is a game I played in high school with just friends. Just, as a, again, as a drinking game. Not, you know, don't do that unless you're the legal age in your country. But, um, yeah, you, you just play this without alcohol and just use money from another game you have or something and make up your own categories as well. And as I said, a lot of the questions don't have anything to do with Gossip Girl. No. Which makes it even less necessary for this sort of version to exist, in my opinion. Yeah. But hey, let us know if you did play this when it came out. Or whether you just <coughs> make up your own. <laughs> yeah. Um, there are a lot of cards, I will say, which is quite a nice thing. Sometimes games like this don't have a lot and so... A bit stingy. You, they get a bit repetitive if it is a game you go back to. So that, that's... Twilight nice. had too many cards. Yeah. This one has a lot um, and obviously there's... Um, five on each card which which helps as well kind of bulk that out so look yeah. i mean for two dollars which we this we didn't pay for it we got it in a bulk lot but this was originally sold second half for two dollars getting a whole bunch of cards for two bucks and playing pretty good i think it was about twenty dollars new if i want to say which is whew, you, you would yeah. have to be a fan <clears> to, to probably have bought it new um but yeah i mean it's fine but again i, I you know like i said we could probably just do it off the top of your head as long as you've got the sort of that imagination to think of categories never have i ever played say. gossip girl never have i ever game <laughs> if you enjoyed watching this video give us a thumbs up let us know down below if like all those references made sense to you if you watched and enjoyed the show and how long ago did it finish i feel I like it's quite a while ago 10 now. years i don't know hmm. sure. does it say when this game yeah, when's, the, when's the copyright 2008 so i don't i don't know where in the show's life this was brought out though, yeah. so. There you go. Hit that subscribe button and check back soon. We have videos every single Tuesday. Sounds good. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.